Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to my workshop. I've got a little bit of a problem that may not sound like a problem to you, but it is for me. I've got thousands of dollars worth of woodworking machinery and power tools in this shop. Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds like I'm bragging and it's a nice problem to have and it's a nice problem I like to continue having. It's taken me 20 years to accumulate all of these tools. I worked very hard for them. I'd love it if somebody didn't come along and just steal them. So before you think this is an ad for a security company alarm system thing, it's not. I'm not trying to sell you anything. What I wanna do is something about those garage windows. They're small, but there's a bunch of them and it's clear glass. So anybody who walks up the driveway, they're at about eye level and they can peek inside my shop and think about things they might wanna come back and steal sometime when I'm not home or if I'm sleeping. And I'd like to prevent that. So I was looking for a low cost, low tech solution. And so I started thinking about privacy film like you'd put on bathroom windows or something like that. So I went online, there's a company called Gila that makes some window screen. It's a do-it-yourself solution. They sell the film. This one's called uh, etched glass. It's supposed to reduce UV rays and stuff like that. I don't care about that. I'm just looking for something that will give me a little bit of privacy and also for video purposes, soften some of that late day sunlight that comes streaming in through the windows because sometimes it messes up my shots. And separately, they sell this window film application kit. I've never installed one of these things before. So I'd love to invite you to come along for the ride, see how it goes. And at the end of this, if you decide it's something you wanna buy, I'll put a link in the description below. So it's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and you can see I'm getting some pretty intense sunlight in here. So hopefully that window film will take care of that problem. Before I can install this stuff, your windows have to be squeaky clean, according to the instructions. And my shop's in a two-car garage, and if your garage windows are anything like mine, they're disgusting. Mine are covered in just years of dirt and sawdust and lots of cobwebs. So before I use any kind of cleaner, I'm just gonna go at it with a shop vac and a brush nozzle and get all of that crap off before I move on. So it turns out they're just extra disgusting. So I'm going at it with some soapy water and a sponge just to get 15 years at least worth of gunk and grime. And I might as well clean up the frames while I'm at it and then I'll wipe the glass. And please do me a favor, don't tell my wife I do windows. All right, so now I'm just applying Windex and getting it all off with paper towel, make sure there's no streaks or residue left behind. And then I can start cutting and applying the film. So the manufacturer of this window film recommends having a really, really clean surface to work off of. And I had brushed off my workbench, but I'm worried that there's probably still some trapped dust in there and I don't want any of it getting on the film if I can help it. So I've covered the bench with some of this really thick cardboard paper. It's the kind you get at the home center for covering floors to protect them while you're doing remodeling and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna cut each piece slightly oversized. The windows are 19 by 13 and a half on the inside of the frames. So I'll cut them oversized and then as I apply them, I'll cut them to their final dimensions. Should be pretty easy because they're all the same size. Okay, and now using a brand new sharp utility knife blade, I'm going to use the longest ruler I have and just make a cut right along the ruler. Being careful to cut through just the film. I don't wanna cut through the paper on the workbench if I can help it. And I've got my first piece. Okay, so this next part might be a little bit hard to see. The film's actually two layers, one clear liner and one is the film that will apply to the window. And it can be a little tricky to get the two layers apart. So what the manufacturer recommends is taking some clear tape. I just took packing tape. You could probably use scotch tape if you've got that lying around. And then I put a clear piece on one side, a clear piece on the other side. And to make sure they don't stick together, I folded them over onto themselves on each side. So now they recommend that just pulling this apart quickly, just like that. And you can see that that's the clear liner that you're taking away. 
And what you're left with is the film that goes on the window. And we're ready for the next step. Okay, so the next part is a little bit tricky if you're working alone. So I went ahead and peeled off the entire liner. The manufacturer actually suggests having someone hold it and then spray some of this application solution and sort of spray and peel and spray and peel as you go. I'm working alone, so what I've done is I've propped my film on top of some bench cookies, just because I'm a woodworker, I have bench cookies. So you're supposed to wet both sides of this. It helps to get rid of static cling, I guess, and also helps reduce some of the curl. So I'm gonna spray both sides of this and the window. It's not an adhesive. It just helps this cling. Just like that. And I've already wet the window, so I'm gonna head over there and Hopefully it'll stick. Okay, I sure hope this works. Well, that's laying on there pretty flat. Okay, so in the installation kit, they give you a squeegee and this little cutter. It's hard to see, but there's a tiny little blade right there. And what you do is you start in the middle you just kind of work your way out so that you're working all the bubbles out of the film. And you'll see that solution sort of come out. And I'm pushing as far to the edge as I can, always working from the middle out. So I can get all those bubbles. And if it starts dripping all over the place, not a big deal, we're here in the garage. So now using the same tool, I'm gonna to use it actually as a cutting guide. So I'll press this right into the corner and then I'll cut just like that. And then I'll move it down, I'll cut, move it down, cut, just like that. And I'll do that all the way around. Now we just peel off the excess. And then I'll just go at it with the squeegee again, pushing right into the edge. Always working from the middle out. I can still see some bubbles there. Make sure you get the bubbles all out now because it could be pretty tough later. So believe it or not, I was able to get this whole thing done tonight. Eight windows in an hour and a half. It's not bad at all. Uh, the worst part was washing the windows. <laughs> and uh, again, don't tell my wife I do windows. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, and I love the outcome. You can see the sunset. The sun normally would be just beating through here this time of day. Uh, but now it's nice and diffused and soft and it's better for my videos. But more importantly, would-be thieves can't see through the windows. And I'll sleep better at night knowing my tools are safe here in the shop. So just a couple of my thoughts about the installation kit, which you buy separately, by the way. Um, the liquid solution that you use to spray the glass and the film, that's the most important part. It comes with a cutting knife and it works okay, but my hands are kind of big. It's sort of awkward to hold. It's hard to see where the blade is because it's so small. And I got sort of a ragged cut in a few places. So I found I had a little better luck with just a regular utility knife and every couple of windows I would switch to a fresh edge of the blade or I would just change the blade and I got better results that way. Um, also this yellow squeegee, which you also use as a cutting guide. You wanna make sure if you're using this as a cutting guide that you only do it on one side and you save the other side just for squeegeeing because if the blade will give you a ragged edge on one side and then it doesn't work very well as a squeegee. Another way around that is if you're using a three inch wide steel putty knife, you won't have to worry about that. So those are my thoughts. I will put links for the installation kit and the film in the description below. So if you wanna buy some of those, you can do that. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you ring that little bell icon, you'll get a notification each time I post a new video. We'll see you soon.